What's up, YouTube? We got the SKC crew here, and we got Moss, our boy, team captain. What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be opening the Worst Generation Kid Structure Deck. Honestly, I think this is probably the undisputed best deck from OP1. This is the deck I've been testing, um, and definitely the deck that has a lot of hype around it, um, especially with our friend, the 8-Drop Kid. So let's, uh, let's crack it open, take a look at what we have. Yeah, I agree. For sure, most like represented deck that or Luffy right now, like between like the last couple treasure cups, it was this deck and then Luffy, the next treasure cup. Yeah, after seeing the red deck win, um, we definitely have been seeing a lot more Luffy at locals and uh, even online through testing. So, oh, we got a little sneak peek for the last card there. So every structure deck, right? Get the ten dawn. Toss that over there. We have our our leader. This leader is absolutely crazy. I think um, we talk about how how insane it is all the time. Just being able to dump Dawn on it late game, uh, leave the three open, get in there for a 12k swing, restand it, and then swing again for 12k to end is kind of insane. Um, even when we played a little bit of Dragon Ball, um, any leader that was able to restand and swing in for big numbers was always kind of crazy. So uh, definitely, definitely a good leader. I think honestly, even in OP2. Uh, Kin Kinemon's a good choice for the early game, but I think you're gonna see some people still playing this with the film stuff and some of the more, um, the new Supernova stuff, so I'd give it a try. All right, starting off with the super rares, we have Law. Not seen much play in the kid deck, but definitely a card that you wanna play one or two of in your Law decks if you are playing Law. Uh, the card's insane, comboed with some of the smaller supernovas being able to restand and just swing, swing away. Such a um, sick looking card. Yeah, the cards are absolutely sweet too. Love it. This card though, um, has been absolutely crazy for me. Um, in testing, uh, I was messing with some numbers and this card here was definitely something that I started off with like a lower number. I was like, yeah, it's a big drop. It's a big, com uh, no combo. But after testing, I just like, I wanna see this card. It helps me protect the big kid. Um, helps me to protect my leader in the late game when we're sitting at low life. So definitely something um, I would think about playing. Uh, going into one of the vanillas, three drop 5K. Uh, we're green, we play Okiku. So there's no real point in playing Vito. But if you are playing this Sanji blue green kind of vanilla deck next, uh, format that might be something to look at let's go sanji yeah i think that that might be a pretty interesting deck if built the correct way um here we have your rouge um i honestly i've never even read the card if you have three or more characters this card gains 2k for one dawn it's a two drop 3k uh it's a little bit too much of an investment honestly i don't think it's 100 percent worth but the next card we're going to talk about um which is nice that they give you four of is capone gang beige all the decks that can run a one drop uh, blocker should probably run a one drop blocker. Just because, um, unless you're playing something right that's like red that has a Luffy rush, most of the time Capone's gonna be there to stop some damage and that's kind of what you're looking for. Also, um, if you're using the OP1 eight drop kid, uh, this is gonna be dropped to kind of keep him alive too and make your opponent get a little upset. So definitely a card you wanna play. This card, um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. I think playing it <laughs> off law um, is insane. Being able to just get an extra body when you get it off the life or being able to pop something against red. So I like to play it. Um, I think it's a good uh, two of just to have in the deck. It's an extra 1K combo. So if anything, even if you're not playing it, you're going to get an extra combo. Agreed. Kobe. Four drop 6K. Once again, in this deck, the green deck, right? We run a lot of things that have different effects. Um, something that we probably don't play, but still, um, if you have the structure decks, probably a good choice just because he's a big body for not too much. One of the best one of Yeah, the girl. Uh, Bonnie is unstoppable. If you're playing anything green, you're probably running Bonnie. If you're running supernovas in your deck, um, what's nice is too, she can even add things like Jet Pistol. Um, if you're playing Law, so definitely a card that you're gonna see in the meta if you're playing. All right, the 2K combo here. Um, I Honestly, sometimes you'll play him versus certain matchups, maybe blue, things that leave Dawn up. Um, if you can get him down early and he stays up, he can be kind of um, annoying for your opponent to deal with just because you're making them 
like is paying extra dawn for their events that they're leaving up. So um, other than that, you're most likely keeping them in your hand for a 2K, but definitely a card that you play four of, or I've been playing four of in LP1 in the kid deck. Hawkins, another card that I've seen go from one in some decks to three. Some people were playing two. Um, I like to play it at three. It's definitely a card in the mirror match you wanna see. Uh, being able to just swing at like an eight drop kid for a huge number and then have him restand, but then you can just leave him up so he doesn't die. Um, sometimes it gets a little scary versus red when you drop him and you're worrying about the jet pistol, but other than that, any other matchups, he, he's absolutely insane. Two drop 4K, uh, we're not playing film, so probably not playing that. Same with Beppo here, one drop 3K, maybe um, if you're playing, if you wanna try like a lower to the ground Sanji deck in OP2, that might be an interesting choice. Early in the format, we did see, I'm gonna come back down here just cause we're running out of room up top, but the X Drake uh, that gives something, or every, I think it's, is it every Supernova 1K? Yeah, every Supernova and every Navy type card, 1K if he's tapped. It just, um, it's kind of too much of a big Dawn investment, right? Five Dawn, you're dropping him for four. Next turn, you got to put a Dawn on him and swing. So he's a 6K body when you're swinging, but I think it's not going to be worth it when you have other things to play. Uh, to the events, we probably don't play Scalpel. Um, it's okay, but... There's just better options. Repel, same with Repel. We're looking more into the OP1 cards, right? Like Punk Gibson and um, the Wano Country card. Am I drawing a blank here? What are we thinking of? Paradise Waterfall. Yeah, Paradise Waterfall, thank yeah. you. Um, yeah, that card's absolutely insane. So we're gonna play Paradise Waterfall. This is a card I was testing at one. Um, the only reason is because it says tap anything. So if you're going against something with a huge blocker and you're trying to get in there with a kid swing to end the game twice, um, instead of that 12K swing, you can get in with a 10K and just tap their big blocker so you don't have to deal with it. So I think the structure deck's actually pretty insane. Um, it's only really missing a few things and then you can pretty much kind of just run with it. So um, if you get two of these structure decks and a couple eight drop kids, you could definitely work with something. Uh, maybe look into getting some of the Wano cards like Okiku and Izo for more 2K combos. Um, but other than that, I think until we see OP2, this is definitely a deck that you're going to see if you're going to any tournament. So definitely something you want to prepare for. But Soul King Crew TCG, it's Masi signing off. Like, comment, subscribe to the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Once again, everyone, thanks a lot for tuning in to Soul King Crew TCG. We really appreciate the feedback, so if you could drop a comment on the video letting us know what decks you're excited to see in OP2, what decks you want to see gameplay of, maybe some commentary, some deck profiles, and maybe some meta discussion on what's going to be good in OP2 coming out in just about three weeks here. So we're excited to create more content for you, and uh, hopefully we see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.